Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kati and today I decided it's time to show you my personal ring setup because I feel like I'm ready for a change. <laughs> so I wanted to show you what I have been using now for, I don't know, two, three months. I think I have had this setup. So things have changed since I showed you my setup in this little personal rings planner, which has 21 millimeter rings and I outgrew that one. So I went to my stash and took this. This is a Filofax Metropole personal rings planner. So it has 23 millimeter rings. So I got a little more space and then I did also some other changes to get more space, more of those soon. But when I first got this planner, I didn't enjoy using it because it didn't stay open. It was always like getting back closed, but now I have used it enough and it stays open. As you can see, it doesn't lay flat or anything, but it stays open and that's enough for me that I'm able to use it because I can't handle it if my planner closes itself all the time because I if I want to use my planner I'm writing I'm reading so I can't handle if my planner doesn't stay open so I'm happy that this has been draining enough now so it stays open and about the small rings so what I also changed I had here these black like I don't know, plastic dividers, which are, well, they are not so thick, but they are thicker than paper. So I wanted to do something slimmer and lightweight. So again, I went to my stash <laughs> and decided to try this. So this is a tracing pad, as you can read with big letters. It's A3 size, so this is huge and 90 GSM. So I don't know, maybe this is like what everybody else is using, like those vellums, but I don't have anything fancy like that. So I have this tracing pad <laughs> and I made dividers out of these and I think almost one sheet was enough, but I have cut a piece of this second one, but this has 24 sheets. So I could make a lot of dividers from this. So I was happy with that. So here you can see my new, and it's the same. As you can see here, I use the same stickers. So I love this, but I just wanted to be it more lightweight and slimmer so that I could fit more in my rings. And how I did it, I first decided like in which order I want these colors to be. These are a little bit in different order compared to here, as you can see. So I first decided on the color order and then after that, I decided what goes where. So I just wanted it to be nice to look at. So my planner is like totally functional. I only use like some washi here and there, but here it was important to me that it looks nice. And as you see, I don't use any words because somehow it's easier for me to have a topic in one color so that way my i don't know that's easier for me to think that okay green is money so i find it easy that way something that i also changed or i got the idea from the channel name is from chaos to calm and her march setup video so i saw that she has rounded inner corners in her inserts and i was like Oh my, that's a great idea because I have had the problem of my inserts getting stuck 
at least they got stuck in this planner so i thought that's an excellent idea so when you round the inner corners the papers have like more room to move and they don't get stuck in this mechanism and i like i like the look so i have started rounding all my inserts except my daily pages which are living in my planner only for one week so let's go through what i have here here in front in these pockets i just have some sticky notes for my youtube video planning and then these sticky notes to write some quick notes and then i have a hobonichi a6 notebook to keep track of my found time pens and when i have inked them and that's all and then there is nothing i have just these or oh, what i have here haha <laughs> Well, I have been writing some words, nice words, and I don't even remember what I was doing this for. So probably I can throw them away <laughs> in my next cleanup. So, and then these I have made for a planner previously. So I like these. So, and but as you can see, because these pockets are like this way, I have to keep my cards like slanted so that they would look good but i made it work so because i had it so i made this planner work for me now i use still a friction clicker 05 pen and i love it it works but i'm not fully decided on if i like more the friction ball or if i like more the friction point i'm not totally decided on which one i like more but i use them both so what did i have here well yeah because i use these both so i don't even i have one in my planner and one on the desk so i usually have something to grab to write let's go to my sections so or should we go it in order well let's go it in order so here in front behind this don't forget i have some empty note sheets to write whatever i want to write and then there is a small tab here which opens to these very dump pages and i have to admit i don't use these but i still want to keep them here if i someday i would learn to use these because i think this would be very good because i usually just worry in my head and that doesn't bring me anywhere so i should worry on paper but when i have a worry i don't remember to use these but i still have them here maybe someday i will use them and this is not my idea i got this from these no worries right act and this is so beautiful i just have this book because this is so beautiful <laughs> i have it here that i can see it but this is something also that i don't use what is this abrams notary so but these this has these today very here's my plan and then check back later what happened and how i feel now and then you if it's not a worry anymore you'll tear this off so i just I love this book but as you can see i'm not using it so that's why i make these inserts because i thought that i would use it more but no i haven't so <laughs> someday maybe then i have this remember tab which opens to my brain dump lists and other lists and here i have again a reminder of my time tracking categories which i use so the next tab today i will opens to my today page and here i have my daily inserts and if you have watched my planner flips before so maybe you remember that i was using these file effects inserts that i had gotten when i had bought these planners and i was using these for my daily pages and i can happily announce 
that I used the last one on the 2nd of April. So I have been able to use now different inserts than the Filofax ones. And I am so happy about it that I made it true because I didn't want to waste them. So now I have been using my own this simple daily insert. I have here one week of daily inserts, but actually now I have two weeks because I have still the going week and I already yesterday put the next week here. So I have here now more of these. Then this big, this is the biggest, shiniest tab that I have. This opens to the, and as you can see, it doesn't like, it comes off, so I think I have to do a new one, but it works, so that's the most important thing. So this one opens to my weekly page, and here I usually have a list of all birthdays, but I have now covered it. But here is my weekly page. Here I plan my weekly schedule and tasks, and now I have a lot of these, so I have until mid-August these weekly pages because it's just easier to plan your life when you have more of these because these are where I plan things so I just wanted to have more of these now and then we get to these colorful tabs so this is new compared to my last setup so I have here and this is like learning and studies so courses and books to read and some tarot spreads. This is the page that I use here most. So I have things like that here. Then pink is YouTube. So I have here one of these that opens like this. So I plan my videos here. And then I have some video ideas and topic requests and some notes. Then purple is for planning. So here I have a yearly view and then I have my monthlies and then this tab opens to the current month, but now it goes to August, a simple monthly layout where I put all my time specific things like deadlines and appointments and so. And these small calendars I have for tracking different things. And yes, these, oh, apparently I have rounded these on both sides. I think I did it because I have been rounding these before on the outer corner and then I started rounding inner corner but I wanted these to be like the same so these I apparently round on both corners and I add this washi then when we are getting to the month which I also do in these weeklies actually oh I have, a, I have forgotten to use washi on this week Oh, maybe that is why, why my week hasn't been so good. Then blue is for planning, so goals and projects. And actually here, this is also pretty new here where I have my daily page on this other side. I have now made myself this like a vision board, things that I are important to me that I want to have also in the future or what I'm dreaming and yeah, things that I'm dreaming of. Some, some of these things I already have now and I want to keep them in my life or some things are that I'm dreaming of. So I'm trying this now to help me, like motivate me doing my daily tasks. And here I just have these words that are like the same thing as here. So things and how I want to feel that are important to me. And then I have written some motivational or things from speeches or videos that have like helped me in that moment. So I have written them here and then, well, <laughs> 
you can see that my yearly plan is pretty empty. It's hard for me to plan for the future, like long distance future or even like months to come. For me, it's like easier to look on a daily and weekly basis. Here we have this quarter two. Then I have my monthly plan. Then I have my project plans. And these tabs I use for projects that I'm doing now so that I get easily to those pages. Then green, my money section. So my spending tracker and my bills tracker and my old spending trackers. Then my shopping section. So this tab opens to my wish lists. As you can see, so I have many different wish lists here. And then this yellow section is people and places. So that's notes about concerning others. So wish lists or gift ideas concerning other people. So let's just skip that. And then here I have a reminder for myself about my categories in this planner and then here I keep my journaling cards like my a.m. p.m. morning and evening routine cards and my weekly routine cards but they are like I'm updating those now so I just have these printed papers so I'm trying them now out and then if I feel like they are okay so then I will print them again and decorate and laminate and have some nice cards again. I don't know if other YouTubers or people that are sharing their systems online, if that happens to them too, but usually when I have shared something from my system, I usually change it right away after that. I don't know why, but may maybe it's like if I film it, and I see it then and then I'm like, why are you doing like that? Why don't you do it like this? <laughs> so yeah, because then I see and hear myself talking about it and explaining it. And then I realize why I'm doing those things that are not like making so much sense. Or I just get some new ideas. So that was my set up and I'm still loving it. It's still working and these 23 millimeter rings are getting a bit small now so bigger rings would also be nice. Well this works. The 21 millimeter they just became too small but these work now pretty okay. But I don't like this how these pockets are but they work so it's okay and it's an okay planner. I didn't pay so much for it. I got it very cheap on a sale. It was like, if I remember right, I paid 10 euros for this. So that was a good deal for this file of facts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would be very happy if you would. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. I hope to see you down below in the comments. Bye bye.